Hello guys, and welcome back to the bench. As we approach the bench, we're not at it quite yet. I wanted to show you that I had to expand. Let me see if I can adjust the camera here. Had to expand the stash to out of the room until I figure out a system. And uh, I'm gonna try and put the aircraft separate. Here's all my aircraft kits. This is a miscellaneous, mostly cars. Here's my Osprey, which I love. And uh, here's the new gin that just came in. Uh, Apollo helicopter I was looking for with the uh, rescue of the Apollo capsule. And anyway, let's show you guys in here. Give you an update on to, uh, the situation before we get into the spray booth. And uh, I got almost everything on the wall and on shelves. I removed the Gaia, which was here. and put them up here. Here's all the Gaia notes. Paints. And I actually have a full set of... E7 paint coming in. This is really good lacquers. And I bought all the unique colors like this so we can test those out. And I got some chrome coming from them too. And I had to expand above me for more stash kits. Some of this stuff just came in. This Di Tommaso, which is a family name. I'm Italian. So I always had interest in that car growing up. And uh, this BMW is one of my favorites. And I'm going to paint it stock. I'm not going to paint it with racing colors. And I thought this... Uh, this fire truck, this German fire truck, I thought it was unique. Um, it's an airport crash fire truck, and I think I'm going to paint it with Gundam colors and make it some kind of a Gundam assistance truck or something like that. So I'm just in the designing stages of that. And anyway, so anyway, I try to keep everything even. So you can see my SMS paints are all in a row. It'll go into the AK Extreme Paints. I don't have many of these, but these tests is coming soon, the green stuff world. And what I did was I put all my primers on this shelf. This is all primer. All the way up until the new Pro Acryl primer. That's the latest. And then these are panel liners and washes. Here's my space for some new stuff. This is Italeri paint set, which just came in. That'll be tested soon. All the all clads are now all in a row. All my Mr. Paints, which were down here in the corner rack. I call it Mr. Paint MRP, the Slovakian paint lacquers. Those are now all in a row. And they just sent me, I ordered acrylics from the same company. So we're going to test those out too. And then we go into my splashes, which is a really, almost a complete collection. Look at the splash paints going across. Then below is the Moto. The Moto paints. This test review is also in the planning stages. I'm getting ready to do more moto paint test into the aqueous. Mr. Colors down here. I made room for the new Tamiya lacquers. Uh, the uh, enamels are on their way. I got the AK real colors. This is very similar to the original Tamiya acrylics. In the back, I have finishers from Japan. I had a couple of bottles, and it's, it's very high-quality stuff, so... Uh, we're going to be testing the, that lineup out very soon. And then what I did was over here is I just put my uh, Vallejo Mr. K my Vallejo model air in game colors. And then the mission paints are above. And I kind of left this desk open for stuff that has no spot yet. But stuff I'm planning on doing a review of. I'm going to do a, a review of alternate paints that aren't hobby paints for models. So we're going to be, I'm going to be testing these acrylics and the tubes. I'm going to be testing this cosplay paint and we testing these inks early uh, tests on these inks and the cosplay and the tubes prove very impressive so stand by for that one this is going to be coming up sooner rather than later and uh, that's it the bench is all cleared up ready for the next test and here's the rack I built for the pro acryl I got it all ordered I mean all in order and put in that's what that is and uh, let me show you behind me before we get into this. I put everything up here on a wall. This is all, this is my set of Tamiya spray cans. A lot of them aren't even open yet. The uh, opaques I haven't opened yet because that test is coming up. I've already tested the metallics and the steel color and the uh, metalizer colors. And then this is off brand. This is all the metalizers from uh, Model Master, which are now gone. So I grabbed them while I could. I put my stash. Uh, started stacking it up over here in the corner, which kind of frees you up from a lot of space. Look how, look at that, right to the ceiling. It takes up, there's a, there's a kind of doubles packed in there, unless they're those big 
boxes in there. Next to the booth, I have these uh, paints that I got when they went out of business here. This Model Master line, I grabbed them from Hobby Lobby. And here's miscellaneous stuff. This is all my clear. All clears. See that? These are all clear paints. And uh, behind here are all my duplicates. I have duplicates of stuff. And uh, that's what that is. And right here is the Model Master lineup and the testers lineup. And in the back is my display. And check this out, guys. This magnetic portable light. You recharge it. It lasts a long time. It sticks because it's metal up here. Put it anywhere. And check this out. Now you got a light. So I can move it around when I'm looking for what, what it is that I need. Put it anywhere. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. And it works down below too. Below here is all my... Uh, it's got three steps. That's all my thinners. Check it out. That's all my primers. Did that in all the tests you guys saw? Here is the Humbrels in the tins and the Ravel Aqua Colors. And off to the side are those custom jars I did for my Ravel enamels. Took them out of the tins. I took an old paint rack, took the shelves off, and put it against the wall on an angle. And then I stacked up my some of my paints. There's the Tamiya acrylics and my Wicked Colors are right there. And there you go. And, oh, check this out. I found this in storage. This is an old Japanese figure I got from Japan. It's, uh, it's a two-in-one. Can you guys see this? There's three heads included. And what it is is you can make the Gelbaldi or you can make the Gelgoog. See that? You have your choice of which figure you want. Don't drop it. I thought that was cool. I, I've had that a while. I gotta, I'm going to maybe I'll unbox that on camera. That's really nice. I don't, I don't collect figures. Usually mostly just kits. And I recently got this. I'm not a Cayman Rider fan, but this was the nicest kit, and the price was right. And it comes with the motorcycle. I'm going off on a tangent here, guys. See the motorcycle? And it has these rubber tires. And But the, the real shocker here for the price of this kit was under 50 Look at it. It comes plated. And you really don't get these plated kits in that price range. You know, don't worry about the decals. We'll be airbrushing to replace them. But look at this giant rubber tire for the motorcycle. Is the rims for the bike. I'm a motorcycle guy myself. Isn't that awesome? I mean, it's got a big display stand in the bottom. I just thought that was such a cool kit. Even though I'm not a fan, I just think it's a, it's a unique kit. That's why I grabbed that. I just got my Skyfall helicopter. Anyway, this video... Let me sit down here. Just got Sazabi in the other day. Oh, you guys, you guys watching 86? Great series. Make sure you guys watch 86. It's going to be dubbed, I think, this weekend if you want to watch it dubbed. But it's up now. Uh, um, not dubbed, just subtitled. Here, anyway, here's what the video is about. I got a new spray booth. Now, the other one, um, I use a dual fan, and the main fan died. And I, I was going nuts looking for a fan, and a good one was almost the price of a booth. This booth fell in my lap for Prime Day. It wasn't a big sale, but the price is right on this booth. I hope it works as good as I'm hoping it does. And um, I pulled these kits out because I need to get to the plug back there behind the bench. That's when I, when I do my filming, you guys see me. I'm right there. Now, that exhaust fan is for greenhouses. And um, it's got the arrows for which way it, it points out. It's covered up right there. It's pointing out. I attach this to the main fan. So even though that has its own, it helps it. it. It doubles up. It's not super powerful. And you can uh, adjust the speed with a dial. And um, that why, that's uh, just a little help. You know, I need a little help sometimes, particularly with the spray cans. They're usually pretty heavy. Um, I'm going to get into the unboxing here. I'm going to have to shift the camera for sure. For sure. Here's the filters. Now, the good news is this is the same as my aquarium filters I used to use when I maintained aquariums and ponds. And uh, it's the same stuff. You can get a roll on the 20 bucks, and it's going to last a long time. This is a whole new level of cheapness. This is great. This is really, really, really great that it uses this style. And uh, what I think I'm going to do here is let's put the camera on its stand, and I'll pull everything out of the box, and then we'll start to pop it up over here, and then we'll test it. All right, guys, let me get the camera in a pod, tripod. All right, guys, I don't know if this angle is any good, but uh, I don't even know if I need tools for this. So I'll do my best. I'll unbox what I can, and then uh, we'll set it up. And uh, we mostly want to see how it uh, performs more than anything else, you know. 
what do we have here? Oh, look at this. This is the LED light. Oh, that is a full strip, too. Very nice. Here's the power for it. Let's get that stupid styrofoam on it. Oh, look. Power at each end. Isn't that weird? I wonder what that means. Oh, let me get that out of the way. Turntable. Every one of these seems to come with a turntable. I don't really use them. Oh, it's got, of course, styrofoam dust on it. Let's put it near this zombie over there. All right, let's see what this is. All right, here's our power. Power brick. Yep. Two piece, looks like the old printer style. Miniature Xbox power brick, so to speak. There we go. All right, we'll put that with the turntable. Get that box out of here. Does this come out? It doesn't. Let's oh. Well, this I don't need because you guys saw I have my window already set up. So this is going to go up pretty quick. That's a pretty big hose. That's what I have now. My original spray booth was like a four or a two inch. It was tiny. This is great. That tells me it's a it's a good size exhaust. Oh, you know what, guys? It looks like it's one piece with a handle. Does this come out? Well, let's try it. Oh, not bad. Not bad, guys. Let's get the box out of here. That's not too bad. All right. Maybe we can put it on the box, too. I'm going to move this box in front of the camera, guys. One second. It's just in the way over here. There you go. I mean, to block the camera. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Wow, this is awesome. It's one piece, which is really awesome. In my other booth, I had to build it with the plastic sides and all that stuff. Check this out. Wow, that's awesome. All right. Oh, this is a feature I liked when I saw it. Let me move up my foot. Look at that. LED. And the fan switches are separate, and you can dial it in. I think it's variable speed. I hope it is. Yep, yep, it's variable speed. Maybe the light... Yeah, the light is variable also. All right, this is this is looking up. Dual fan, which is big. And... Wait a minute, guys, more stuff in here. Another LED light. Look at this. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is awesome. This is way nice. Look at this. The power connections... Are running all through the frame so I guess yeah look at it so it must have multiple lights is there another one yeah here's another one so it's lit all the way around all the, the, the sides except for the bottom where you spray look at this so that big one must be the top and this is the side but see it it must plug into itself and power it all up every end is is powered so it's all run through the system nice and neat that is awesome Wow, so this is a big thumbs up for me so far. And uh, signs are pointing to that this should perform well just from the quality and the thought process they went into what they've done here. All right. See, guys, hold on. There we go. My hearing on's out of the way. And it looks, oh, it, it, oh, look at this. So it opens up. All right, so what we're going to do is here's the. It came with its own hose, which I'm not sure I need. Maybe my hose will fit over it. And Oh, look, double filter pads. So that's good. Looks like it just tucks in. Yep. Yep, once you get the size down, I guess you can trim your own and have them ready. So this looks like it all pops open. And it all just snaps together. I don't think it uses any tools. All right, look, guys, let me, uh, let me pause the camera. I'll readjust the uh, angle so it'll be towards the bench here. And uh, we'll set this baby up. Oh, look at this. Rubber legs, too. On the knee, too. Yep. Oh, very nice. All right, guys. Let me pause the camera. All right, guys. Here it is. I popped it open. It just folds itself open. And uh, this is mega impressive. Um, everything. This is the top, the long LED light bar that I showed you. I just I popped it in here. It just snaps in. And you can see all the openings for the uh, the power attachments. Now, I plugged it in. And I attached the hose. Let's see if I can show you guys. See it? I'll show you in a second the hose in the back. And um, everything else just snaps in. Now check this out. I realized where all these connections go. I did this side already. And you see it? In the back, there's the power. Right here. So this snaps into here, bringing the power out to here. And then this goes in here, attaches all. So it brings you the string of power 
right through all of the lights. I did this side already. It just locks into the bottom, and then it locks into this one. So I'll do this side for you and show you. You can see this. It's like building a, a Gundam, practically. It even says left and right on it, which you don't really need to know because it's obvious where it fits. That goes in. It pops into the filter holder, which is cool. It's got notches in the bottom. It clips right in. Now, you see the light on the bars for the side. This, um, the ridge goes into here, obviously, and both of these will snap into their power. In here, and into, oh, there it is. It goes right in. And that's it. Now, I like to put uh, cardboard in the bottom of mine. A lot of guys don't bother. I, 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 it's good for video. The, the black helps our reflections and whatnot. So I usually use black cardboard. I buy it at the dollar store. It's like two sheets for 99 cents. So this one I'm going to have to cut to shape. But once I make one, um, I can trace it and make them all the same. And I'm going to push this back quite a bit. And uh, we'll go from there. Let me show you. Hold on, guys. I'm going to take the camera out. Watch out for my fingers. See it? So I use the existing fan. Now, this is just a booster from the double fans that are in here. Hold on a second. Look at that. There's the dual fans. All this is attached. You didn't have to do anything. Matter of fact, if you think about it, I didn't use any screws. None. Even uh, this all snapped together. So that's it. And here is the power. It leads to the back um, behind my Gundam kit so you can see. I can push this back further, but it might be in a good spot where it is now. And here you go. Here's the switch for turning on the fans. Bit of a whirlwind. Let's see if we can dial it down. Yeah, see? I can dial it down when I can talk to you guys when I'm filming and use this as a booster. That's this one. This one's much quieter. But now, that helps with this. It helps all keep all the sound down. That is awesome. All right. That's full blast. Hope you guys can hear me. Turn it off there. Turn off mine here. Let's take a peek at the LED lights. Hopefully this works first shot. Oh, it does. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be great. I, wa I was shooting another video and I says, I got to set this up first before I do another video. Um, let me lock in the camera. I'm not going to do any painting. What I'll do is I'll put some water in the airbrush, right? And we'll see how that sprays, how this sucks the water right up. So let me pause the camera one more time and then we'll test it and wrap this up. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to test this baby. Um, I might have to get a mic after doing this and mic it to the camera. But uh, I figured I'd put them not on full blast, but just under full blast to see how it works. And then we'll turn it down a little bit and see the difference. Uh, just using a cup of water. This is the uh, Badger Patriot 105. I'm trying to go way back to see. Oh, yeah, it sucks it right up beautifully. Oh, it's awesome. Can you guys see it on the camera? It's going right in. We'll know in the next test because I'll be testing some heavy paints. It works. It works great. I mean, the true test will be the paint and the lacquers and whatnot, but uh, thumbs up so far. This is awesome. Um, all right, guys, let me pause this and we'll wrap this up. Well, there it is, guys. I took a piece of that cardboard. I keep it in stock. I buy it in stacks when I go to the dollar store and because uh, I do so many uh, videos. I like a clean cardboard uh, and base every time I, I shoot a video. It just, it just looks better to me. And there it is. All the lights are on. I guess you can shoot it without. Let's see what it looks like without. That's it without. I have good lighting here. I have LED lights anyway. See, it's more natural now. But uh, we'll try it both ways. See, you get a shadow in here. So let's see if it removes that shadow. Yeah, it kind of removes the shadow, which is cool. A little bit. And then we could dial it, but I think it affects the flicking on the camera. Let me see. Oh, not bad. No, these are good lights. These are actually good lights. Go figure. You can dial in the lights and the fans. Um, thumbs up. One of the nicest things I bought, including my airbrush and that 2D air compressor. I love both of them. Those are both recent purchases, and I both love them both. Um, fantastic. I'm going to put a link below to the exact one. There's a lot of them. That I have no friends have returned. And um, this one popped up out of nowhere, too. I, I was looking for a while, and uh, I knew the bearing was going on one of my fans. So I started looking at fans or boots. 
But this one popped up. I, I mean, when I say it was on sale on Prime, it might only have been like 5 or $10 off. But it had a coupon also. Anyway, this is a must if you guys want a booth. I love this thing. I've seen them like this at 200 bucks, and this was nowhere near that. I think it was less than 150 I mean, It might have been more than less than that. Um, I'm jumping over my words. Anyway, that's the video, guys. It was a simple one. I just wanted to show you the room update, and I wanted to show you this fantastic new booth. So the next time you see me spraying, it's going to be in this booth. I'm going to order some of uh, these filter pads now. You know, i got to learn how to put them in. It looks like it pops out. i got to read the, the little manual. Hopefully it tells me how to do it. Other than that, I could probably just put them right against it. And... Uh, you get the job done. Anyway, guys, a huge thumbs up. This thing is fantastic. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already because I showed you back there in the bench. We have a bunch of tests coming up and uh, even stuff planned out for the next few weeks. And I got a new sander, a little mini sander, and a, and a miniature Dremel tool we're going to be testing out for, uh, for building also. So anyway, thanks, guys. And uh, I would grab this booth if you guys are in the market. I think it's fantastic. I'll put the link below. And... Uh, Happy modeling, guys. Have a great day.